hi guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> guys for today's video i'm going to show you how to cook yam porridge oh yam potty so much guys if you want to see how i prepare this mouth watering delicious pot of yam porridge and so much more please darlings keep watching guys after seeing this quantity of peppers in front of you be like why is this guy using so much peppers for just one tube of yam <laughs> guys let me tell you something i'm using one stone to shoot free birds okay so uh, i'm making the potato yam of course and i'm also making a for you today of course the video is already on this channel and I'm also going to make some meat stew to eat with the potash yam or porridge yam so guys for the porridge yam what you need is you need some bell peppers okay okay also known as tatashi you need some shumbo also known as cayenne pepper okay and you need some onions and some scotch bonnet for the pepper mix this is what i'm using okay so i'm just going to clean this peppers and get right back guys in here i have all my peppers and onion okay i'm just going to add in just a little bit of guys so in here i have some vegetable oil okay and it's a lot because i'm also frying a lot of tomatoes and i'm just going to add in my red oil now you want to add this and immediately just add your tomatoes because my my vegetable oil is already very hot and i'm going to add a lot of what red oil because my every roll and my yam potash needs red oil okay so yep that's enough i just let it leave it to dissolve guys so now that my oil is dissolved i'm just going to add in some onions and let it fry for about one minute 30 seconds okay guys and then we start adding our peppers now you know that i'm using i'm improvising so i'm not going to fry a roux or crayfish at this stage okay just the tomatoes you can see the thickness it's not liquidy at all this is what you want to achieve okay a lot of tomatoes i'm going to fry this for about an hour i want to fry until you see oil settling at the top then you know that your tomatoes is really oh it's 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 fried okay guys so for our yam this is how my yam looks like okay so i'm just going to chop this the first thing you want to do is you want to cut your yam in little sizes guys right here i have a bowl full of water you want to put this or set this aside because if you do not do this your yam might start getting brownish in color or you know you don't want discoloration okay so just peel your yam like so or if the chopping board is too hard for you just use your hands like so okay guys simple and then just uh, divide it into any sizes or how you want them okay so I'm just going to repeat the process like this like okay guys after washing my yam this is how it looks like okay you can see that there is no browning there is no discoloration whatsoever and all my yam is immersed in water this is how you want it and you want to leave it like this until it's ready to until you are ready to start cooking okay guys 
so our stew is crayfish okay and fry for about 30 seconds you don't want to fry for more than that if not your crayfish fish is fried for 30 seconds I'm just going to add my stockfish and I'm see I'm using stockfish for this guys you can use any brand of crayfish that of dry fish that you like okay you can use codfish fillet you can use just anything but I really really like making my yam potage or yam porridge with stockfish okay give me your salt okay guys and your maggi okay and don't add too much you know that our stock already has a lot of salt and maggi you just give that a good mix and guys this is my stock okay and you can see all of this is oil the fat from the goat meat okay if you do not have stock meat broth okay you can use water but that means you have to add uh re-season your stew okay guys here i have some scotch bonnet of course in this much okay and then just add in aquariums guys i always like to add water uh, at the same to be at the same level as my my yam okay you don't want it too liquidy and also you don't want it too dry you just want it like yam potage <laughs> okay darlings so yeah just add in all of your yam okay and add water to be at the same level you do not need to wait until your yam starts boil your water starts boiling before you add your your yams you just you can just go ahead this is not jello rice we're not cooking jello rice okay guys and guys if you've watched up to this step this stage and you unsubscribe yet my darlings what are you waiting for tell me <laughs> please subscribe and while you're at it please click the notification bell so that if in case i upload any videos you'll be the first to be notified and for all my new subscribers thank you for subscribing welcome to my channel this should cook for uh, this should cook for about 25 to 30 minutes i think okay guys <laughs> my darlings if you want the soup okay to be thicker than what it is now or how it looks now okay all you need to do is just mash some of your yam and the soup is going to be really thick but guys this is the consistency that i like this is how i want it okay i don't like a too thick consistency no after 27 minutes okay of boiling or of cooking and it's turned out so amazingly tasty so i'm going to leave you guys here okay my my dears please take care of yourself of yourselves thank you so much for watching i really appreciate thank you guys for your support for your love and for everything i really do appreciate please my darlings take care of yourselves and remain blessed bye bye